my name is Chrissy Clements. Everyone watches accesstv.org. <laughs> Welcome to the challenge. First, I'd like to thank God for the opportunity and thank you, the viewers, for tuning in. The challenge is a show dedicated to changing the mindsets of people, changing uh, the way you think. Uh, thinking outside the box is our objective and Today's society, um, there is a uh, prevalent uh, understanding of uh, the misgivings of our government. And so uh, our job is to get you to realize that uh, in trying to understand those kinds of things that government uh, is responsible for, that there are, in fact, other ways uh, of doing them. Those tools that have been created uh, to help us and to serve us uh, should be uh, used in ways that benefit each and every one of us. And each Thursday when we come to you, uh, we hope that we identify things that uh, would help you, would charge you with thinking outside the box. I can't help but be reminded of a nursery rhyme uh, that went something like this. It used to uh, be called, I think, Humpty Dumpty. Uh, they would say Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, and Humpty Dumpty had a great fall, and all the king's horses and all the king's men uh, couldn't put Humpty back together again. Humpty was broken, and man is as well. You know, when the Declaration of Independence was written uh, inside of that document, one pastor has said that the word God, uh, creator, supreme being, is mentioned over 50 times. Uh, that document, which uh, by most indications is the basis for creating our Constitution, uh, meant that we were to be uh, firm believers, firm believers in uh, a creator, something that is bigger than all of us. And so uh, what has happened is uh, instead of God being first, uh, we have uh, allowed government to take its place. Uh, the order should have been God first, our family second, and then the government. But somehow, uh, these misgivings uh, has it all twisted, has us all uh, paying more attention to uh, a system, uh, quite frankly, that was developed by man and is imperfect. And so, uh, our charge uh, is to try to put man uh, back together again. Oh, I know some of what I say takes on a very sermonic tone. And quite frankly, I think it's necessary at this point and at this juncture uh, in our particular race, in our human race, uh, that we pay particular attentions uh, to those things that have brought us uh, to this point. It's called a race. 
assuming that we're all headed in the same directions. And I, uh, for one, believe that uh, we can't help but be headed in the same direction. We're all going to that grave. There is no other way uh, to say it. We can't escape it. What matters is how we run uh, this leg of the race. This leg of the race, ladies and gentlemen, in my opinion, is the next leg of the civil rights movement. That's right, the civil rights movement, where uh, there was a hard fought fight for one person and one vote for all of us to have access to this system. Uh, it left us void, uh, without substance. Sure, our vote uh, matters, uh, but it just seems to not matter as much because it's easily bought and easily sold, it would seem, for uh, the pieces of silver that are uh, suggested, that are implied, that in some places are given to people if only they will choose to follow them. Uh, that's what's happening uh, in the land. Uh, people are following the money. Uh, they are without uh, substance. Uh, our vote is without substance. So we, uh, on the challenge, want you to consider this. Something we call, something that the Center for Economic and Social Justice calls the just third way. That's right, the just third way. Uh, those of you who uh, think that uh, my voice and what I share with you takes on a sermonic tone, I think uh, that is indeed the case. Uh, Jesus said uh, very clearly, very succinctly, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And so my suggestion to you this morning is that uh, there is a just third way. Uh, Jesus didn't create Christianity. He was the Christ. And so the way that he sought to guide us, to the way he sought to lead us was in a way that made us all leaders, all leaders. And so the just third way attempts to make all of us leaders from the bottom up making all of us valid, making all of us a necessary part uh, of the equation. Uh, how do you do that? Well, I'm certainly glad you asked. Uh, you should, when their opportunity presents itself, take a look at uh, what they talk about uh, at CESJ.org, CESJ.org, uh, the Just Third Way, the Capital Homestead Act, uh, which is a takeoff from Lincoln's Homestead Act of 150 years ago, uh, where Lincoln tried to uh, make sure that every man, woman, and child uh, had the ability to uh, be part of the development of the new frontier. Well, we have a new frontier that's upon us now. There is an information technological age that is fast approaching, that is already here, and we must be a part of it. And if we don't own uh, part of that technology, uh, that technology and the owners of that technology will own us. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there is a just uh, third way. Humpty Dumpty was broken. Man is broken. Uh, we, unfortunately, uh, are misguided, uh, even in the greatest halls of academia. There seems to be uh, a uh, adherence to uh, theories that are outdated and that have become obsolete, uh, just as the things that we use today to try to solve uh, today's problems. Uh, they have become obsolete. It is time for a new version of democracy. There is, this is the time for an upgrade, and so, uh, I am uh, here to suggest to you that there is another way, that this leg of the civil rights movement will deal with poverty, will deal with uh, those who are left in despair, uh, who will uh, take up the mantle, who will grab the baton and move the leg of the race uh, where it should be. Uh, 
that's what we try to do here on the challenge, uh, to accept that this is our leg of the race to run, and now share with you, the viewers, uh, a solution to the problems that we face, that you face on a day-to-day -day basis. There's no mystery to it. Uh, the reason why uh, people are displaying such despicable, such heinous crimes uh, are being committed uh, is because uh, there is a disparity, uh, a gripping disparity that exists throughout the land. Uh, those uh, who have, have far more than those who don't have. The margin of disparity between the haves and the have-nots continue to grow. And so, how do you make uh, that wayward person uh, meaningful? How do you, you get him to participate in a system that uh, chooses to uh, devalue him uh, because he hasn't had a chance to attend an Ivy League school? He hasn't had a chance to go to a college that uh, once he finishes uh, actually requires him to carry more debt than he ever had in his entire life without the assurance of a job or the kind of job that's necessary to get him out of the debt that he's created uh, by getting the education that our system says he requires. Uh, we need to find answers uh, to those problems. Sure, education is the key, or is the key uh, to changing uh, the minds and hearts of people. But we must, uh, we must level the playing field. Uh, real equality comes when all of us have access uh, to money and to credit. When we all have access to money and money's power. Uh, our focus uh, needs to be on shrinking uh, disparity that exists uh, from one person to the other. No one should own you. No one should own me. Uh, our minds, uh, our thoughts, uh, our intellectual property. Uh, we are to share it. Uh, it is to enhance uh, each other. The question has been asked. And the question has been answered. Am I my brother's keeper? And the answer is emphatically, yes, I am. Uh, we have a responsibility to each other. We must own up to that responsibility. Those who are at the top uh, have a responsibility uh, to bring those uh, at the bottom from the bottom to the top. Uh, they have a responsibility uh, to continue this race uh, they will have the responsibility of furthering uh, our society, uh, making it a better place uh, for everybody uh, to enjoy. Uh, there is a reason why we reach uh, towards the heavens, uh, because that is uh, the epitome, uh, that is the apex, that is the zenith, that is the place that we all uh, aspire to be. And so in our efforts, uh, we're either pushing people up or we're either grabbing a hold of them and lifting them to those points. And so the challenge uh, is for us to think outside the box. Realize that uh, those tools that are created for us, uh, those tools that uh, are meant and designed to make us better, more efficient and more effective, uh, always are in need of upgrades. Uh, they are in need of tweaking. They are in need of bettering. And so uh, when we look at these tools, when we look at those things uh, that have been created, uh, let's not stop there. Uh, that is just a point on which we uh, should build. Uh, all of what we enjoy in this democracy sure can be shared. Uh, the money, the power, uh, the credit, uh, can be and should be shared. Uh, we're going to take a break right here. Uh, give us a few minutes to regroup, and we will be uh, right back. My name is Brian Johnson, and I'm here today to talk about the challenge. Uh, I guess what I would like to know from America or the Hartford area 
is what is the problem and what is the solution, which is bigger when we discuss the challenge, what we're trying to figure out what's wrong or what we're trying to solve. Uh, is it a philosophical difference that we have amongst our people or is it a practical difference? Uh, throughout our neighborhoods, many of us can't read or write. If we can't read or write, that prevents us from thinking critically. So we are at a disadvantage uh, coming into this game. So we challenge you to think about some of those things. And through the course of our challenge, we're going to present you with some information that we hope gets you to uh, think about yourself and the community in which you live and what your role is and how you can help affect change in that community. I'm Lori, your host of Up to Date, a calendar show that features all the greatest activities and current events that are taking place in our greater Hartford community. In the, in the coming week, all you have to do is visit accesstv.org and you will be able to find out what's going on without having to look all over to find it. We'll have it all there for you. So get ready, there's a lot of information to share. Grab a paper pen and sit back because you know you're gonna love it because now you won't have to look to find all this information. We got it covered. The next leg of the civil rights race. That's where we are. We, uh, as we look uh, out in the landscape, uh, the war that we face uh, now is a war of words. Uh, who's telling the truth? Uh, when you hear one perspective or another perspective, uh, you must ask yourself, uh, which one of those uh, perspectives really identify? can you identify with and, uh, and identify the problems and issues that you face and address those concerns that you have? Uh, who's telling the truth when uh, you have a democracy that you don't win by majority? Uh, you win uh, based upon the electoral college. Uh, the majority vote uh, just seems to be an exercise. Uh, who's telling the truth? Uh, our system is in dire need of an upgrade. Uh, this version of democracy is outdated. Oh, no, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not saying that uh, democracy is a bad system. Uh, in fact, it's one of the greatest ever created. In fact, there are so many virtues to uh, democracy uh, that it would be a beacon uh, for uh, other countries uh, throughout this world, uh, and should be. But there needs very desperately to be an upgrade. It's time uh, that we upgraded this democracy. We want uh, everybody to be able to realize their own brilliance, their own genius. Uh, and the way we do that is by giving them uh, equal access and real equal opportunity, uh, not just uh, a form over substance. Uh, there is no substance to the vote uh, because uh, there are those who would sell it uh, for a few pieces of silver. And so the focus is on changing our system. Uh, our system uh, is at issue. Not people. People uh, often act within the parameters uh, that they are given. Uh, just as this program is designed to give uh, to you a message within a certain time frame, uh, parameters are set. And so uh, we have uh, no other uh, 
choice but to operate within those parameters. Those parameters are good. Uh, otherwise, uh, we would get too far uh, outside of, uh, uh, of the, f the focus and the topic uh, that's at hand. And so, uh, while we focus on uh, this leg of the civil rights race, uh, we must realize that uh, those folks who are living in despair, those people who are committing those uh, ungodly acts, uh, who are in desperate need of hope, uh, need real opportunity. Uh, they need to know that there is a system that will work from them, for them. From the bottom up is the approach of the just third way. Uh, from the bottom up, giving everybody the opportunity uh, to participate in this democracy. Uh, that's where we're going, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Mark my words. Uh, it's an idea uh, whose time has come. Uh, everybody uh, should be playing a part uh, in our democracy. No one should be left behind. Uh, our efforts, all of our efforts, are to keep or, or to make sure that everybody is engaged, from the oldest to the youngest, from those who uh, lack to those who have, those with disability, those who uh, have less, uh, are all to be engaged. Uh, there is no telling uh, where that takes us. Uh, there is so much more uh, to be had. And so what we'll do uh, here on the challenge is we'll uh, now uh, start to bring uh, the audience to you. Uh, we will uh, invite those folks who, who have views on how to change uh, the mindset, how to get us from uh, despair uh, to happiness, to uh, take us from uh, the darkness and into uh, some light. Uh, we want those people uh, to step up and be a part of uh, what we're trying to uh, discuss here so that it becomes uh, a familiar, uh, very familiar program within your household. Uh, we want to encourage you uh, to keep you involved uh, in this process. There is no doubt that if there is a problem, there is a solution. And we will continue to focus on the solutions uh, to those problems. Uh, but at the very root of the problems that we face now uh, in this great democracy that we have uh, is poverty, is the poor, are those who are left without the ability to truly participate in this country because uh, they simply don't have the means to do so. Uh, we will uh, be working very hard uh, to make certain that uh, all of their voices are heard. Uh, your voice certainly matters. Uh, it will be uh, for some of those uh, who, who feel as if nobody's listening. Uh, it will be the opportunity uh, to share what you will uh, with, the, uh, with the entire world. Uh, the challenge is intent is to make sure that uh, everyone who is interested in being heard uh, gets the opportunity to be heard. Uh, our focus will be uh, on solutions to problems. We're not just talking about the problems, but we are engaged in making sure that those solutions are implemented, uh, that they are being discussed, that those people uh, on the bottom are being heard by those folks who are on the top, that we use every means and every opportunity uh, to share with those who are willing to listen uh, ideas about how you change and shape the mindset uh, of those who will be leading us tomorrow. The future is at hand. Leadership is, uh, ad, is a, a need that is greater than any of us uh, could imagine at this point in time. Uh, these are tough times. And so uh, 
it will probably mean that uh, you will have received the kind of pressure uh, that will make you shine. And so uh, our job is to help you shine and to polish you so that you are, uh, can show that brilliance of light uh, that is deep within you. Uh, we hope and we pray that you will continue to tune into the challenge uh, knowing that we have a desire to make you better, to make us all better. Uh, I can't help but think, uh, you know, about the greatest of all commands. Uh, God says to us very clearly, he says to love one another as I have loved you and love thy neighbor as thyself. We intend to work towards that. We intend to make that our mantra. And so, we hope you continue to tune in to the challenge. We hope that we've said something today uh, that will be a blessing to you. And as I've been uh, so aptly described as a voice of sermonic tone, uh, I hope and pray that this message would have touched your heart. Thank you for tuning in to the challenge. This is Russell Williams. Be blessed.